What's up, spectators? Welcome back. Let's play Life is Strange, an episodic series based upon a woman, time travel, and the butterfly effect. That's pretty much all I know, and now that's what you know. Now let's get into the game. It is five episodes, and if you get the season pass, you know it's a nice 20 bucks. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and just... Let's see. Ooh, maybe I can turn subtitles on. They always turn that off for some reason. So if I can just... Oh, look at that. It's already on. Thank you. Make sure everything looks good here in these settings. Yes, everything looks really good. Ooh, yeah, anti-aliasing. Oh, beautiful. All right, now we can play. New game. Life is Strange is a story-based game. Whoa, story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I always choose wisely. I am the wisest choice maker. Picnic gone awry. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Good thinking. Let's go. Can I sprint? There's no sprint. Hmm. The sensitivity is a little high, so if I move too fast, I go. Ah, 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 and that's not good. Hmm. I do want to lower it. I wonder if a controller would be good for this. Okay. Enough about controllers and. Maelstroms? Maybe I'll be safe if I go to that. Hmm. I am at the skull. Hmm. Okay. Arcadia Bay. Arcadia? Wait, is that. Okay. Arca yeah, Arcadia. Is that in Maine? Arcadia. Arcadia Park. Arcadia National Park? Arcadia. I don't remember. I think it's in Maine, though. Okay, hold on. I think they want me to go this way. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah, you're dead. Up, oh, I'm dead. That was so surreal. They call film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why I switched to controller. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Wow, this is the my project. Arbus. Okay. Because of her images Art of public subjective. spaces, you feel like totally Ooh. haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. What? No, it's adorable. Don't do that. Without character. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And any one of you could do that to me. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If Hope he doesn't mind if I. Oh my lord. Think. Font is awesome. Little things inside are awesome. The post-it notes at the top left are awesome. I would think this is one cool chick. October 1st, October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot! Thanks, global warming, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate will let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my gr- I almost said Greek. 
Geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a vortex club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that backstroke fest? You so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Well, that's never true, is it? Time in the world for her. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. Do you do you guys want me to read all of it? I don't. I do, I can certainly try. I can certainly make this. A, why did it start me on page eight of eight? Okay. You know what? I will read it. Why not? If you guys don't like it, you can skip ahead. I'll make this video a little longer for my reading. I got accepted at the Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this world would wait. This would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy! A unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I'd be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in... Not like I didn't used to live. How'd you get into an academy with that grammar? In the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, Sorry, thanks for playing. But it took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, Congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to blow. <laughs> Let's see. How many months later? July, August, okay, next month. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I want to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved up with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we played pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure or adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire, mon frere. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. <gasps> Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. <laughs> I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Wow, we're not even halfway done. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to go pack all my crap. Mom and dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught my mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry a little. Oh, cry like a little girl. And never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes. Then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe. And who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Four out of eight. Oh, we technically read the eight one, so we're ahead of the halfway mark. Good. September 2nd, 2013, 12.07 a.m. My first entry for my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Woo! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole lot of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd, the day after. Blackwell sucks ass! I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn! The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke Taylor Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, and titled, I can feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. 
<sighs> wow. It's been a solid six minutes of me reading so far. Hope you guys don't mind. I wonder if any of you have actually skipped. I'm, I'm a little hurt if you did. Because I, uh... I'm trying my best. So that wasn't fun along my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the WAMBULANCE! I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and the brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. <sighs> That's how I sigh. <sighs> There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. Wow, she's writing every day now. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as a kind of know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chilly. I want to say chilly because I thought of chilies. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to do as well. Expects us to as well. Woo! I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. It came out of nowhere. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. So, she thinks she's not really interested in the teacher. But she is interested in the teacher. But there's also a dark, edgy guy she's kind of into. But, hmm, interesting. September 15th, the day after my birthday! Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teacher's great harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts gave a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite Vortex Club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate and Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more! Last one, guys. Last two pages. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco. rice a the nation's city street. Why did I do that? And lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I want to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kinda understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed, passionate about life. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking ask actual, actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? And that's finally it. Wow, that's 10 minutes of reading. Hope you guys didn't mind. But that's why I'm going to make this video extra longer. Extra longer? So I am Max. It's a very masculine name. Oh my, more reading. Okay, that's fine. Hello, my name is Max. Oregon! Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Okay. Well, that's entirely the other side of the country. My name is Max Caulfield, and I, ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to an old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if... like Polaroids? I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. 
On a scholarship, even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever. At least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with a retro camera at my side. Say cheese! Oh, there's so many. Okay, just two more. Okay, this is gonna be... You know what? Let's make this video like 30 minutes. How about that? Are people even gonna... Well, if you guys watch my normal videos, you're used to me reading for the entire video. So if you're my regular viewers... You probably love this. You probably love that I'm just reading the whole time. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher. And one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing for us how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Hero contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. He looks familiar. I feel like there's an actor who looks like him, or another game character. For now, I'm gonna stick with What's-His-Face. He's in that movie with the driver, all the woman thinks he's hot. I And he's got even got the glasses in this thing. What is this name? He's that driver with the, uh, you don't have time. I'm sure someone will get it. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. So Kate Marsh is, is that the best friend? Or is that the annoying woman? Or is that the new friend? We'll see. She's really sweet, oh, the sweet, nice, okay. Even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign, even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I'd have to make an effort, but uh, to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. True love waits. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Hmm. And... Oh, what? Oh, there's another one? This must be the annoying one. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy. And a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18-year-old at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school. So maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she doesn't, does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. Damn, this guy picks up all the chicks. Like that actor, who he looks just like, who also picks up all the chicks. Oh, don't remember his name. That's gonna kill me. She does everything but sit in his lap. He, ooh. he keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Hero Contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha! Alright, we're finally done with the photos. Too obvious? Wow. What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Hmm. You're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. 
Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Oh, no, she didn't. The Daguerrean didn't. process brought out fine detail in people's I'm faces. I'm staring right at you. Oh, I'm gonna throw something at you. Just gonna, the first American stereotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Damn, that's cold, Mr. Actor Guy. I can't remember the name of who's going to drive me crazy. Ooh! Victoria does of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Is she gonna know if I take it? Is she gonna know if I take Even it? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Holy sweet tripods. I mean, damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Ooh. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. It's a pretty mediocre photo. I'm sorry to break it to you, but yeah. Is grunge dead? I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Pop Vine is Grunge Dead, featuring the latest works of Mark Jefferson. Ted reads to get electronic mail. Electronic mail? Is what you said? That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Amazing? I don't know about that. Your sense of amazing is all wrong, lady. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I don't know about that either. I don't know about that. Is that printer also amazing? Maybe I should touch her iPad. Or Galaxy, or whatever. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Five, two, nine, nine dollars, greenlit. Hmm. Product GRLT64. It's all the speed and power expected from my new greenlit GR GRLT64. This is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. Woo! All right, Kate, we're friends. Oh wait, paperball. That's right. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Dear Kate, Purge. we love your porn video. Kate, you're in a porn video? What? I thought we were friends. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Panoramic view. Make it all manageable. Pick and choose. Let's speak. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Um. Hope I didn't embarrass you. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. What? I thought we were getting close! Well, I tried. Let me just interfere on this conversation here, don't mind me. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Hmm. Let's sound self-conscious and not lazy. So we're gonna go, I didn't have any time. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. 
Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm, some interesting wise words. I didn't hand it in though. Hold on one tick. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Rachel, Amber, forever. Ah, the days of high school photography, where everything can be a work of art. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? What? We didn't actually use the computer though, hold on. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Psh, just raise the saturation. Amateur hour. That's okay. I'm just kidding. All right, Victoria, let's hang out. We're best buds. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Okay, we can't have a conversation, and I can't turn in my photo. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. <sighs> I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I. Oh, I didn't mean to do he that. He never escaped the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. I can never tell when she's going to keep talking, so I keep canceling things. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Nerd, I love it. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Oh, you like him? Going for the back hug. Oh, teacher! And then going for the front hug. Oh, teacher! Then smack her out of the way. Alright, how do you run? Okay, I can brisk walk. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you to you Welcome to the cute. real world. Hot. Huh. Huh. Because Matt wants everybody to see how she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. So Square funny. Enix. I wonder what... Why they decide to publish this game. It's pretty She's interesting. Chrysalis? Interesting. Should I wash my face? Oh, there's so much I can do. Let's go to the bathroom first. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Ah. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Interesting. Well, I don't think I can go this way. This is the exit anyways. Hello? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Maybe she's got a bunch of online friends. That's okay. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Oh, look how edgy he is with the shaved head, but the... Top isn't, and the infinity scar. This guy knows. Knows what's cool. Oh, and the, the no socks and the rolled up. All right. Is this mine? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Hmm. Let's see, looks like we're about halfway through the hall, but it's been 30 minutes, and I think that's definitely long enough for an episode. So I'm going to end this video here, so stay tuned. Ooh, should I do this? Mmm, I'm conflicted. You know what? I'll release it every day. So that includes Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, da 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 Alright, how about that sound? Okay then. 
Bye-bye!